Hi, in this video you are going to see the Sinclair ZX Microdrive in action. I've explained the handling of this device in part 2 of the series, how to save, load and write basic programs on three different 8-bit vintage computers. You can find the link in the info box. The computer I'm using here is a Plus version. It's actually the same motherboard than the ZX Spectrum 48K but in a different case, which is a little larger and has better keys. They added even some keys, so you don't have to do sometimes complex key combinations, like the comma key, the arrow keys, double quotes, semicolon, extended mode, edit key, delete, and a few more. On the bottom you have two legs which can be pulled out. And on the left side is a reset button, but no power on button. Power input. Pay attention to the polarity. Plus must be on the outside if you connect a non-spectrum power supply. Extension port. Back plugs for cassette recorder and on this device TV output has been modified for composite video. This is the ZX interface 1, which is needed for connecting a microdrive. On the left you have the ribbon cable for connecting the microdrive unit and the connector here goes to the edge connector socket of the computer. On the back side of the interface you have the pass-through of the edge connector, two jack ports and a serial port. Here you see the interface connect to the computer. The Spectrum Plus is actually too large for the interface, but it works. The input power, the pass through of the edge connector, socket marked mic should be connected to the microphone input socket on the recorder, and the ear socket should be connected to the earphone output socket on the recorder. Video output, the female RS232, which is not pin compatible with the standard TB9 connector, to network plugs where you can connect up to 64 spectrums. Here is a ribbon cable which is connected to the microdrive unit. The microdrive unit with a cartridge slot. Here goes the ribbon cable to the computer. And here to the next microdrive unit. You can connect up to eight microdrives. Here is a cartridge with its protecting case, trying to take it out with one hand. which contains a 5 meter or 200 inch endless loop of magnetic tape. The drive cartridge will not last forever. The symptom of an aging cartridge is that the computer will take longer and longer to find a program. I hope it won't fail you in the video. 